Hey guys, in this video I will do the review of this Cyanogen 14.1 nightly builds on my Moto G3. So without further ado, let's get started. Now first of all, I have to say, the ROM is pretty stable. It has just a 3 to 4 bird that I have highlighted in one separate video you can check it out in the description and the card will be shown up right uh, top of this video now as you can see the the ROM is working fine my Moto G3 got smoother than ever after installing this ROM you can see here under 7.1 And here you can see 714.1 2016. It's a 25 November build, and uh, all the new red features are present with some additional features of Cyanogen mode to customize the look and feel of the device. Like the status bar, you can change everything in the status bar you want to change. Double tap to sleep is also present. I will just show you the sample. Yes, as you can see, it's a lot, and I will double tap on the notification bar, it will lock. So, these functions are present, and the biggest thing for which I was worried that the moto actions that were present on this Moto G3 were will be lost, but Cyanogen 14.1 saved me, as you can see. Double chop to enable flash is working pretty fine and it's also present on 714.1 and double twist is also working very fine and the moto gestures are also working fine like you have the ambient display also as you can see if I will just pick up my phone it will light up and you can unlock your phone from the display itself without unlocking the without attaching the power button so this is pretty cool and uh, it has very a lot of features to offer and uh, that's it this is pretty stable rom you should try it the link to install this rom will be in the description so you can check it out and this gave me my Moto G3 a new look, new feel. To sum it up, I would say this ROM is pretty stable and you should try it also. So thank you for watching this video guys. If you like this video then subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you.